I want to talk about automation and I just want to voice my concerns as a software engineer. Um, in 20 to 30 years, we're not going to have the vast majority of entry-level jobs. Regard regardless of what you may hear, uh, there, we are going to have such a large reduction in accessible jobs because of automation. And what we're already seeing is self-checkout completely replacing cashiers. We're seeing warehouses be completely become uh, autonomous with robots. We're seeing fast food places be completely run by machines. Um, we're seeing self-driving taxis. We're seeing um, completely self. Uh, we're, we're seeing completely um, automated uh, manufacturing. All those used to be very accessible jobs to everybody. They're not going to be anymore. And I want to bring this up because it's often difficult to wrap your head around the reality that we're headed towards. And especially as in software engineering, a lot of jobs are creating these systems to make things autonomous to automate things and systems. Um, and I, I just want to voice concern over, should we be doing this? Should we be creating these systems to get people out of work? Um, we're already seeing it happen, happen in welding. Well, that there were are, People are already creating systems to automate welding. Uh, car manufacturing is going fully autonomous. Accounting is going fully autonomous. Uh, I mean, there's just countless, countless others that are not going to, they're going to be non-existent. And I, I, I really do worry because we're digging ourselves into a corner or into a hole and backing ourselves into a corner where we're not going to be able to get out and we have a declining birth rate. Um, we have a very, very high percentage of working age males not entering the workforce. It's over 10%. Uh, and it's between 18 to I think thirties. It's very concerning. Um, we're seeing wages completely remain stagnant when cost of living and living and inflation are just just keep going up. So making minimum wage is you can't live on minimum wage at all. And whatever bogus minimum wage increase that is proposed for a dollar is just completely outrageous because it's already going to be make you're already going to be making less than you did the year before because of inflation. So we're headed for a reality that's not looking too uh, too bright in terms of ec the economy and in terms of readily available jobs. And I, I really do worry about it. And I worry about should, uh, should we as software engineers be, uh, be against making these systems? Should we be, should we raise the flag in terms of, we need to put a stop to creating all these automated, automated systems because it's all just about money. At the end of the day, the only reason people have put in automated uh, checkout, warehouses, cars, everything, is just because it adds money to the bottom line. But it takes no consideration for the devastation that it brings on to the vast amount of, work, of working class people. And it's only going to get worse because we're seeing a very, very sharp decline in available jobs. And I think that the other aspect of this is because healthcare is so tied to employment in the US, healthcare is not going to be accessible to a vast number of Americans because they're not employed full time. We're seeing a lot of full time positions be converted into hourly under the threshold to be um, to be eligible for health insurance.
Health insurance is thousands of dollars a month if you have a family for basic coverage for a deductible that's almost ten thousand dollars, and that's not it. And that's assuming that you don't have pre-existing conditions. If you do, then you're you're it's a lot worse. So I want to say that as software engineers, we may have a responsibility to voice our concerns about whether it's right to be making all these systems um, and whether we should be building features into the systems that still allow for human interaction in terms of by employees. Because if we automate everything, there's going to be nothing left. And I, this may sound like the most doom thing ever, but just look around you. I mean, look how many things have been replaced. Do you ever go through a cashier line? If you go to a store, the most popular and busy lines are the auto, the the self checkout. Those all used to be full of cashiers, and that's just one example. the The, the larger examples are in manufacturing. The decline in manufacturing jobs is in part due to automation and it's only going to get worse and wages are going to continue to decrease because of automation. Uh, and then the, obviously jobs will be made to maintain the systems, but not in the same way that the jobs were there before. So I don't know if we have a responsibility to have a conversation about this in terms of the broader software engineering community and, and really discuss what the implications are going to be if we go making these systems that allow for this level of level of automation, automation that we've never seen before. Um, and it's automated. Every industry is becoming automated. Um, I don't know what that conversation would look like. I don't know what that community would look like that would have to form to have in the conversations and vocalize the concerns and show the data that shows the, the, the hardships that automation bring in terms of working class families. I don't know, but it's going it, to we're I think we're going to be in a real uh, tight spot and it's only getting worse in the coming generations. Um, we'll see. And I think that some of these jobs that have been automated. I just don't think they're going to come back. I think they're only they'll, they will only come back in small town, rural settings, but in cities and more densely populated populated areas, I think that automation is going to reach a point where uh, that's going to be the normal, and we're going to have to figure something out. I'll see you in the next one.